this video here is going to be on the uh, Lee Enfield 303 now we picked this up like this here the uh, person who had this before put on this uh, stock obviously here this is obviously not the original stock looks like they changed out the uh, the rear side and the front sight to me for sure the rear sight this is not working it just flops around there looks like they did their own design here in the stock you can tell they uh, put a little old deer over here on the other side looks like they hand carved that out show that to you upside down I believe they call that trying to sporterize it little history on this rifle though is uh, this bolt action magazine fed rifle served the British Empire from 1895 through 1957 the series of infield rifles was one of the uh, most successful bolt action rifles of all time and it's still in use today uh, with uh, some militaries they said uh, I was reading on there this rifle right here was able to uh, chamber and fire bullets at such a fast rate that the uh, enemy when they come up on them thought the soldiers was firing a uh, full auto at them they was uh, firing so fast which is pretty impressive but uh, just playing around here with the bolt action I have to put the camera down to do it you surely can uh, chamber and load this very very quickly it's got a uh, spring here that you have to when loading it up here very hard to do with one hand you have to push this forward to finish the uh, chambering of the bullet and when you uh, go back out of it there it's uh, lift the bolt and whip it back yeah you can certainly chamber rounds very very quickly with this bad boy and I could see you know with them the way they were trained using this yeah they could fire fast this rifle of course shoots uh, 303's it is uh, let's see a box of 20 of these uh, bullets was from around 18 to 30 bucks the uh, surplus ammo buying it in bulk here could not find any I searched long and hard trying to find some ammo for this bad boy could not do it uh, probably already mentioned this bolt action yeah I believe I did cover that the uh, let's see the bolt removes a little bit different than uh, most other rifles you'll ever come across here you gotta pull it all the way back here past the uh, little feeder for the stripper clips and lift up on this all the way up then the bolt will slide out and then you can unscrew this here and you can uh, get down to the firing pin and all that we won't get into that put it back in there the same way you push it up to here push it all the way down slide it back up you're ready to go there let's see the uh, clip here see if you can see this it has a uh, little ejector button right here right in front of the trigger ejects right down in there and it's a lot easier to put this clip back in here if you push this back down and put it up in there let this down for a second here if you try and do it without it there it's a little bit more harder there a lot easier just holding it on down putting it back up in there let's see uh, the accessories for this gun very 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 uh, few accessories for it that I could find at least now I did see a uh, bunch of uh, aftermarket stocks on there but not for sale all I could find was just the images of them mostly didn't see any uh, for sale I uh, did find I believe a scope mount for it you know and the scopes things like that but uh, very few stocks I think we've seen a synthetic one on there and that's about it uh, let's see the safety on this bad boy is right here on the side pull it all the way back to you I believe it'll work about right there actually yep you can go all the way back just to right there whichever push it forward and that puts it in the firing position several different ways here to uh, let down the firing pin there you can hold the back right here and pull the trigger and let it down real slow 
or you can just press and hold the trigger as you're putting the bolt down. I say several different ways, so there's two at least. Uh, let's see, the uh, another safety on here is just to pull this back one time. This locks down the gun completely. Bolt won't work. Safety won't even go back. Trigger won't press. Now if you uh, have it on here uh, all the way back and you're just using the safety, the trigger will depress all the way. Of course it won't fire. But uh, that's just a better way of doing it, I think, anyway. Pulling it back. One click locks everything down. A whole lot safer there, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's pretty much it for this rascal here. The next video on this one also will most likely be on uh, replacing this stock with uh, hopefully a wooden stock we were trying to find, but like I said on there, very, very few of these, at least findable. The bullets on here, done covered that. We haven't even got any yet for this. It's uh, pretty hard to find and you won't find any in bulk, so at least uh, I couldn't. That should wrap her up though. Very, very nice rifle. The uh, bolt on here, extremely quick to work. This is what I was mentioning earlier there, this uh, little spring pressure right here. You chamber it all the way up right here and you got to push forward, then down to lock it. And you can see how quick you could have worked that right there. And I'm doing that very slow. It is a... Uh, very, very nice gun here. I can't wait to get some bullets and test her on out. Something else that I was wanting to mention here that I'd almost forgot is this is a two-piece stock here. And so is the original that come on it. This here uh, is a uh, collar that goes around and puts this stock over here, you know, and uh, mates them to it. Just thought I'd mention that in case people was wondering. <laughs>